Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the show. Tomorrow starts New Year's Eve, and we all know what that means. Overpopulation at the gym, white girls on Twitter, and yours truly getting absolutely enraged. New Year's Eve is a time to party and enjoy yourself. Not a time to go on Twitter and tell everyone else how you are going to be different in the year of 2020. Please tell me what is going to change about you. Your life is not a self-help book. Just because the year changed doesn't mean you change. It is the next day, asshole. I don't need to go on Twitter and see you complaining about, oh, new year, new me. Let's take a moment here and go through a few of this preposterous tweets I have heard. In 2020, I'm going to leave my worries behind. 2020 is a new year for me. Time to focus on myself and not on others. Let's get it. Here's one more. Who wants to spend New Year's Eve with me? I no longer want to be with everyone else. Interesting. Oh, oh, and this is a great one. This is a great one. Deleting Tinder for New Year's Eve. I want to find the love of my life. You know who you are. Let's get one thing straight. New Year's Eve is just another day. Just because it turns into the 2020 tomorrow doesn't mean you're going to change. Nobody cares. Get that bullshit off Twitter. I don't want to see it. Nobody wants to see it. If I see one more tweet about how New Year, New Me is going to somehow happen in 2020, I'm going to take my fucking car and drive it through a Sears window. Everyone needs to stop. Now on to the next point. I understand these New Year's resolutions, but they never fucking work. I swear to God, if I walk into the gym January 1st at 10 a.m. and there's a bunch of 300-pound housewives that have not seen a fucking dumbbell since January 1st, 2019, I'm going to fucking lose it. Here's an idea. If you make a plan, stick to it. Don't bother all of us with your one-week shenanigans that piss me off. If I go to a bench and I'm trying to put up some weight and I see this fucking mom with her kid with... 10 pound dumbbells that never comes ever again, I'm gonna lose it. Stop making New Year's everyone else's problem. Just cause your life sucks doesn't mean ours has to too. Here's an idea for all of you for New Year's. Change yourself. Actually fucking do it. Stop with this bullshit telling all social media how you're gonna be the greatest thing ever and everything's gonna change. It's not. It's not going to unless you change, you fucking moron. Jesus. I, I fucking hate people so much. I, just, I genuinely just hate everyone. What is the need to put all your feelings on Twitter with this bullshit? What is different about 2020 and 2019, 2018, 2017? Nothing. Nothing's different. You're still a loser. Stop making other people's problems. Here's my advice to you on what you should do in this new year. Get a job. Maybe that, maybe that will save you. Get a fucking job. Go waste your time doing something meaningful rather than sitting on Twitter crying about how your ex-boyfriend left you 14 years ago. Two, get some friends. Go out, party, have some fun. Stop making the new year a time for you to pretend like you're going to change yourself. Just enjoy it. Throw all your worries to the fucking wind and say hallelujah. Who cares? Make it like that. And third, and finally, stop annoying me. All of you. I gotta wake up constantly to people saying this bullshit, how you're gonna change, and then I go to the gym and there's fucking overweight housewives using the gym. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Everyone, please just stop. Not even for my sake, for everyone else's sake. Because I'm the only asshole that has the audacity and courage to say something. Do something with your life. Stop bothering me. Just stop. I will say this though. Ryan Seacrest on New Year's Eve. Man, that guy. That jawline. Jesus Christ. That's something you should look forward to. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that's enough for me today. I'm going to spend my New Year's Eve doing what everyone else should do. Drinking, partying, and hopefully passing out. Let's have a great time.